Hey guys, in today's world, IT operation teams manage ever-changing complex IT architectures built on multiple platforms and complicated technology stacks. Some of the issues that organizations face in today's ever-evolving landscape are unconnected management tools, making it hard to manage your applications and data, complex scaling procedures that make it difficult to scale up or down based on demand, and inconsistent policies and processes could also add to the overall complexity. Now, IT automation helps you resolve some of these issues. IT automation is the act of automating a manual process. For example, you might need to do a monthly restart of some of your servers. In the traditional world, this would require a human to log in and perform the restart based on the number of servers. This could take a lot of time. For example, I once had to patch and restart 60 servers. I had to log into each one of them, run the update command, wait for it to finish and then reboot the server. All this would take me roughly 5 to 7 minutes on a single server and if you multiply that by 60, by the end of 5 hours, I'd look like this, banging my head against the table. This time could be brought down considerably if you automate the tasks. Now what are the benefits of automation? You can improve the overall infrastructure performance and compliance by maintaining a consistent configuration of your applications by detecting and maintaining appropriate patch levels, thereby increasing the security of your system. You can also increase the efficiency and consistency of your operations and processes by automating manual tasks and minimizing human errors. You can also gain an understanding into your workloads by understanding the dependencies between various systems and processes and also by anticipating capacity requirements which eventually help you to auto scale seamlessly based on demand and therefore you can increase the overall performance and availability of your system with the help of automation. Now all this is well and good but how can you start with automation? Well it's very easy. All you have to do is Identify a single manual process in your organization that is very easy to automate. Once you've identified that single manual process, for example, let's say restarting servers, you then automate that single process by using automation tools like Ansible. Now, once you've successfully automated that single manual process, you can then rinse and repeat the same process so you can pick a second process, let's say patching, automate that and then go on to pick the third process. Now I hope you've understood why we need automation in current IT world. With this, we've come to the end of this lecture. I will see you in the next one. Bye.